Hi everyone, welcome to the Athletic Development Program presentation for our 2022 program. Um, I'm Marnie and I'm very uncomfortable talking to a screen. Um, I will admit that I am much more comfortable in front of a live audience and I do much prefer the in-person experience, but I can still today share with you um, the purpose of this wonderful program that we have at Greensboro College. Um, depending on what year level you are um, currently in and looking to move into next year, I'll be highlighting to you the, uh, what's involved in the curriculum for your year level next year, um, as well as the whole pathway that we have available for the secondary years. Um, I'll also go through the um, wonderful opportunity that is our additional technical specialist sports coaching. Um, and for those of you who are wanting to apply for our 2022 program, I'll take you through the steps and the key dates um, for this as well. So let's get into it. Okay, so who is this program built for? Um, if this resonates with you, then this ADP could be a great fit for you. So if you want to be the best version of yourself, not just as an athlete, but as a human being, then this could be a great pathway for you. If you're wanting to be stronger, faster, more explosive, more powerful, super fit, or if you want to take your sport to the next level, be that an elite level, a state or a national level. Also, if you're keen to be injury free throughout your athletic journey um, and you already have a high volume of training, this um, program at our school could be a really good complement to that. Um, we find a lot of our athletes don't have a lot of time um, to waste on ineffective training methods. So we give them the tools um, for the best use of their time. Um, and for parents, I know um, having a one-stop shop, being able to drop your child off at school and know that uh, not just their education is taken care of, but their sports coaching, their injury prevention, their rehabilitation, their strength work, and not having to go to a variety of other um, avenues after school can be a really handy um, or really convenient option as well. Um, we try and get our students to buy into um, the whole notion that if you want what others don't have, you need to do what others don't do. Um, and trying to get that edge over your opponents, but also trying to be the best that you can be. So the purpose of our ADP is to provide all its student athletes the opportunity to upgrade their athletic performance, as well as their high performance mindset whilst they're at school. We hope that their involvement not only will help them to achieve their personal best in their sporting pursuit, but also in all facets of their schooling, both social as well as other subjects. And we hope this carry overs to the rest of their life as well. So how do we create high performers? We use cutting edge strength and conditioning by reducing risks of injuries and providing genuine athletic upgrades to improve students' sport performances and success in their chosen field. We also take an approach of student first, athlete second. In fact, it's more like human first, student second, athlete third. And we really prioritize helping develop the student self-efficacy, their sense of belonging to an incredible culture, um, trying to enhance their level of passion for self-development and improvement, engage them, um, improve their attendance and their enjoyment at school by reinforcing our school's core values of that of courage, aspiration, respect and equality. An example of how our school's core values are embodied by our ADP um, I'd like to mention how the ADP is levelling or how sport in general is levelling the playing field for females. I could talk about this particular topic for a long time, but I would just like to encourage you to check out some of the most recent and detailed research um, done by EY, Ernst & Young, and the ESPN's W's research um, on how sport advances women at every level. I've got some pretty powerful quotes up there um, for our student athletes out there, but the ADP in terms of trying to uphold our school's core values, which I love, um, where just an example of how we're doing that is through trying to really um, increase female engagement as well as improve pathways for our females at Greensboro College as well. So, by improving high performers, we take this sort of approach. We have world-class coaches, um, and I'll talk a little bit more about the fabulous coaches that we do 
Uh, we are fortunate enough to have at Greensboro College in our ADP. We offer um, not only class time um, to complete strength and conditioning and learn all about the building blocks of athletic excellence, um, but we offer additional strength and conditioning sessions that are really closely supervised. Um, we record data at every single session, which gives us a really good picture of where the student is currently at, what they've been doing, what they need right now, and where they're headed in terms of where we've got room for growth. Um, we've also been able to adapt our training methods to home programs, which has very much been needed in this last 18 months. In terms of how we've set up the ADP at Greensboro College, we've included it into our curriculum, and there is a six year plan for those who are wanting to be involved. You can see our pathway that's laid out here from year seven through to year eight, year nine, year 10, and there is something for everyone, even doing BCE. I'll go into a little bit more detail about these in the next few slides, but I just wanted to sort of highlight that all students get access to strength and conditioning, supervised strength and conditioning, additional sessions that might suit them at a time of their choice. Um, and as you move through the year levels, there is some extra attention um, put into the theory side of what it takes to basically be the best athlete that you can be. Uh, it's integrated into the VCE curriculum um, as well, um, but let's first start with our Year 7 and 8 curriculum. So students complete the ADP elective in the place of art um, in Year 7 and in the place of STEM or manual technology in Year 8. That was the case this year. Um, from a practical point of view, we teach the students um, effective warm-ups and cool-downs. Um, we teach them the fundamentals of strength development, the fundamental movement skills like running, acceleration, deceleration, jumping, safely landing, safe but effective change of directions, which is where a lot of injuries do come into play. We teach them recovery practices, injury prevention practices, um, rehabilitation where appropriate or where applicable. Um, and then we start introducing um, them to high performance mindset practices. Um, all of our students get access to the high performance center where the bulk of our training is done, as well as our state of the art sporting facilities in our new sporting precinct. Um, I've mentioned that all students get additional strength and conditioning sessions and they get ongoing individual assessments and programming. So we do full battery of performance tests uh, biannually. Um, these include things like uh, biomechanical athlete screening, um, taking injury histories, setting goals, um, and all the performance tests that, um, uh, that athletes uh, need to get a good picture about where they are, strengths, weaknesses, room for growth, all of those sorts of things. The Year 9 curriculum um, is an elective in place of another elective of the student's choice. They get three periods now at Year 9. The program includes everything that I've mentioned at the Year 7 and 8 level. We do start advancing their individual strength development and we start making their movement skill a little bit more specific to their sports. We go a little bit deeper onto the high performance mindset practices as well. And with the extra time that we have at year nine, um, the extra theory of um, a period of theory, we introduce them to what makes a successful athlete. We also teach um, functional anatomy, um, which is really handy for students getting to know their body and being able to more effectively communicate with their coaches or physios or just have a general understanding about what's helping them um, or, or hindering them. Um, we also look at gender differences and the considerations, particularly we look at um, how females can capitalise on their unique physiology and that really gives the girls a sense of empowerment as well during those years where development can often feel like it's taking them in the reverse direction. We talk about sports nutrition and hydration and how important fueling around your exercise and general health um, is for your um, biopsychosocial status. Uh, we talk about the importance of sleep and how to get more and better quality sleep. And we also go into more um, on the effective recovery practices. So things like compression garments, hot cold showers, um, cryotherapy, saunas, um, you name it, we sort of uh, talk about uh, how that can be utilised by our athletes to um, recover better and be able to perform better. At year nine level, um, students complete 
the ADP elective in place of another elective of their choice. This time they get 10, oh sorry, five periods. I was getting a bit excited. Um, the program includes all of the year seven and nine inclusions. So again, a little bit more detail, a little bit more advanced with their individual strength programs. Um, in the theory, one of my all time favorite areas to teach um, here at Greensboro College over the last 20 years has been sports psychology. Um, and a bit more of a buzzword that's being used now, particularly off the back of the AFL, Richmond Tigers success um, over the last four years is high performance mindset coaching. So this unit is a whole semester of um, the building blocks of athletic excellence from a mindset point of view. So positive psychology, purpose mindset, social and emotional intelligence, mindfulness and arousal control, really powerful stuff for anyone trying to perform at their best on the field, on the court, at a presentation, whatever it might be. Self-realization and optimization, again, really useful for students wanting to get the best out of themselves. And perspective training, which um, has been uh, very uh, poignant, I guess, um, at this time in our lives. Um, the other areas that we um, study at the year 10 level are really juicy training principles, exercise programming and prescription, which really empowers students to have a great understanding of how they can take control of their own physical training and progress themselves and maybe other people in their lives as well, um, learning about uh, writing programs and, and getting an idea of how to get the best out of your body. Um, just moving through this pathway again, so that's the first four years sort of outlined. Um, at year 11, um, we have three periods allocated to strength and conditioning, additional strength and conditioning sessions available out of class time, but students are also start their VCE Unit 1 PE. Um, so students who are wanting to be in the ADP at year 11 level will need to choose year 11 PE unit one and they do this over the course of the year. Um, the theory side of the unit one PE curriculum can be viewed in our handbook but it's really complementary curriculum to our athletic um, development pathway. At the year 12 level, our year 12s being um, a year where the academic side of the school time is extremely important, the strength and conditioning does need to be conducted outside of class time um, so that's before school, lunchtime or after school. Um, and we'd be encouraging ADP students to be involved in the VCE Unit 3 and 4 um, PE, uh, which would take up five periods of their chosen Year 12 subjects. Again, really complementary curriculum um, for student athletes. Okay, I've mentioned how wonderful our coaching team is. Um, so I thought I'd introduce uh, a few of us um, that are involved in the strength and conditioning component of the ADP. So over here you've got me with a bunch of wonderful Year 10 um, female athletes um, in our program. We've also got Coach Jake and Coach Claudia. They are both former students of Greensboro College who I had the great pleasure of teaching these wonderful humans and they have come back um, to deliver what they wish they had had, I think, at Greensboro College. And they are both full of energy. Their um, ability to connect with students is just incredible. Um, I've got this, this is actually a video of Cam, um, but there's no audio on it, unfortunately. He looks a bit unhappy there, but he, I can tell you he's happy doing what he does best. Um, he's been with us for three years, Coach Cam, um, former NBL, played college. Um, he is a national level strength coach, one of the best in Australia that we're really lucky to have. He's a wonderful asset to our high performance centre and our, our um, strength and conditioning program. So, um, but I can't play the video, unfortunately, the audio is not wor working for me today. Um, but our job, I guess, um, working with our students from a strength and conditioning point of view is basically to try and get students to um, be able to move better, feel stronger, prevent injuries, um, bridging the gap basically from sitting on the couch to then trying to do high quality organised sport. Um, we, uh, we all wish that we'd had a program like this when we were at school. So um, the level of passion uh, we have to help students to be the best they can be is, is, uh, is obvious. Um, okay, so just trying to find my cursor here. And mentioning more about 
amazing opportunities and our ADP is our additional technical sports coaching. So if students are interested in not only being involved in that great um, stuff that I just mentioned for, within the ADP, you can also choose to do additional sports coaching in AFL, basketball, netball, soccer or tennis. So this folk, these additional sessions done during school focus on skills, gameplay practice, there's all things like video, um, reflection, tactics, um, we have contact with elite sports people, um, in, in our, all our coaches that run our different um, sports um, are not only very renowned themselves, we have national level coaches, really well recognised in local community and larger community, but they're extremely well connected. So they've got great access to elite pathways, they've got great access to other elite coaches. Um, and uh, in terms of uh, being able to provide opportunities for additional practice matches, tournaments or experiences um, above that and beyond of our normal school, um, inter-school sport division round robins, um, we're really fortunate to have those amazing coaches. I'd invite um, you all to head to our website to find out more information for full bios on all our staff involved in the ADP and get a bit more of a backstory about uh, how fortunate we are to have such a high calibre of people working with our students. Um, oh, and here they are. So we've got Coach Rick for the football. We've got an amazing team at Gripping Potential for our tennis. Um, we've got national level coach and national level player, Katrina Hibbert. My brother Heath, who's nearly been teaching at the school as long as me, has recently got involved um, in our basketball program and is really reveling in working with our um, student uh, basketballers. Um, here we actually see, I really love this, this was a great day. So this was towards the end of last year um, where all these amazing humans at our school volunteered their time to help me put together a five-year strategic plan for our ADP. So these are all people who have played high-level sport themselves or have been involved in high-level support in some capacity who wanted to make sure that this program that we're delivering to students is the best that it can be. Um, volunteered their time and, and we had um, a lot of productive discussion come out um, off the back of that and a lot of it's already been implemented. Um, so our incredible staff head to our website for more info. Um, I just wanted to give you a few theoretical um, uh, day or a week in the life of some students at our school. Um, so this would be a year nine student who's involved in our elite tennis program. So elite tennis offers six hours of on-court coaching. So here we can see some coaching on the Tuesday morning, the Wednesday afternoon and the Friday morning. Now this isn't necessarily how it will be next year and it's not actually necessarily how it is right now. We have all morning sessions this year, but um, you can also see that their, the year nine student has access to all of these additional strength and conditioning sessions in green um, at a time that would suit them. So they don't have to go to these, they're open sessions that they choose to go to at least an additional one, some do more than that. Being a year nine program, we also have um, additional sessions, um, sorry, um, ADP sessions of strength and conditioning, a double period here um, outlined on Tuesday afternoon. And we also have the theory, um, which is where we go deep into the building blocks of athletic excellence. You'll notice that um, maths and English and core subjects like humanities, PE, science um, aren't interfering with um, the timetable. Um, this is the plan for year 10. So this is a, a week in the life of a year 10 student involved in our AFL program. So you can see they're doing AFL coaching. Some of their coaching is done at lunchtime in this instance. Uh, we also have some coaching done on a Thursday morning. We have, because they're a year 10 now, we have two periods dedicated to ADP theory because it's chosen as an elective. There's strength and conditioning here and here. And you can see all the other um, additional sessions available to our year 10s as well, as well as their other electives and the core subjects that they can do in, in their timetable. So if this is sounding like a program that seems like it would be a good fit for you, or if you are already a current student loving the ADP, there, um, there is a waiting list. So there is an extensive waiting list um, at year seven to nine. So we do encourage people to act um, quite quickly and be very organised in terms of the application process. Um, if you are a new student, um, applications are now open on our website. So you do. everyone needs to head to our website to get access to the application form. 
um, that needs to be completed by the 20th of August. Um, this application form is quite detailed. It, it won't take two minutes to complete, it won't take you hours either, not that horrible. But we are after obviously contact details. We really want a good picture of um, what the student is currently doing. So what sports are they playing or what sport? Um, who do they play for? What are some of their achievements? Where would they like to take their sport? So a bit of a three year um, to five year, maybe some goal setting, some questions around what they're wanting to achieve with their sport, any injuries or niggles that we might be able to help them with. There's also um, some more information that we'd like to collect around these applications, things like teacher references. We'd like to see what sort of student they are. We're particularly interested in their work habits. Um, so things like organisation and communication are really key things that um, elite athletes need to be need to be fully across. We also like to hear from a coach. So a coach's reference is requested. Um, some past reports also gives us a bit of an insight into the type of student that we will be working with. Um, we do uh, have quite a stringent selection process. So not only do we ask them for information, but we, run, we do run trials and selections um, so that we are making sure that the students are gonna be a great fit for the program, as well as the program being a good fit for them. For current students, um, you still need to register your expression of interest for 2022 via our website by the 3rd of September. So that is just um, making sure that we know who still wants to be involved. Um, in past experience, it's almost everybody. Um, and what sports are you interested in doing? Are you wanting to pursue some additional coaching so that we can be planning for that? For those people who are communicated with and are required to attend, there will be selection trials at the end, towards the end of this term and notification of who has been a successful applicant for the 2022 program will be notified by the end of this term. Um, where applicable, sporting squad trials are held um, on Tuesday the 7th of December, which is also the statewide Year 7 orientation day. So we've done that for a reason. Um, so we will have access to the new people wanting to try out. The last thing I wanted to sort of talk about is, well, our transparency. So um, there is no secrets. Um, I like to operate with all cards on the table. Um, so when we talk about full transparency, we also include that with our, um, our costs. So we're very upfront about um, what are the costs and where all the dollars are going. So any of the money that's being um, paid for, for the ADP, every dollar gets put back into the students. Um, as a mother of two myself, I always work out all of my students' costs for programs based on a week. So I sort of broke that down. I don't know if that's helpful for anyone else, but $15 a week in terms of what they're getting and whether you see that's good value. I think it's absolutely incredible value. Um, there are payment plans available and there are um, ADP Sporting Excellence Scholarships available too. You'll need to see our website for information about those. They are also due in September. Um, for those people wanting to be involved in additional technical sports coaching, depending on the level and the frequency of coaching, it'll depend on what the additional cost is. So if you're doing an additional two hours of technical sports coaching with Coach Rick or, or Coach Katrina Hibbert, um, then it might be um, that's the additional cost on top of the ADP cost. Um, likewise, if you're doing more coaching, you're in the extended program, which does require um, tryouts for the extended program. It is considered a bit more of an elite program. Then there's an additional cost. And for those doing the elite tennis program, we also have a development program in the tennis, but the elite tennis, there is six um, hours on court available. So it does come at that proportional price as well. Um, the last thing I just wanted to say, I guess, is um, if anyone has any questions, um, I will be doing a Q&A follow-up on this, or you can head to our website for any information. I really hope that what I've just presented to you is helpful and somewhat inspirational for those who aren't already bought into the program. Um, uh, if anything does come up, as I said, contact me um, or speak to our office. They're really full of useful information as well. Um, I'm thoroughly enjoying working with our current cohort of students and I'm looking forward to um, helping even more of our students um, and young people thrive in a program like our ADP. So I look forward to working with you. Take care.